That just looks cool though. What, tell me it doesn't look like battery from Black Ops 3, kind of low key. Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to season two of Modern Warfare 3. Yes, that is correct. Today we are playing season three or season two of Modern Warfare 3. And this is actually unironically my first video back on the channel since the release of this game. I'm really sorry about that. I really am. I will have an explanation video after this one going live, not very long after like the next day. But I wanted to get this video recorded first because I feel like this is a little bit better of an opportunity. And yeah, we're gonna be playing season two. We are not gonna be playing Fortune's Keep. I'm gonna have a separate video on Fortune's Keep later tomorrow, later this week. But yeah, we're gonna be playing Horde Point and some of the other new maps. So that's what I'm like interested in. Bro, this map already looks beautiful. Like I'm not even in the game yet and it looks stunning. I'm digging it. Also, look at the size of this map. So, I'm fully expecting this to be a very, very sweaty, uh, sweaty first few games. I'm not gonna lie, because season three, season two just came out. So I'm fully expecting this to be like super, super sweaty. This map looks like it's gonna be good for camo grinding. I'm not gonna lie. To try and make up the monotonous tediousness of shipment and rust, be nice. Kind of like me. Was a really good mediator. I love me. But man, this map already has me in a better mood than the season one launch. Mostly because everything's already here. You know, we already have, you know, several new maps. Rio looks like absolutely like an amazing, this fucking guy. Rio looks like an absolutely amazing map. And this map I'm already liking. So Stash House 24 seven is what we're playing here to, is in what we're playing right now at the moment. However, I do am gonna be playing a little bit of Horde Point as well for you guys. So as you guys can see, different face cam, that's gonna be explained in the next video on where I've kind of been for the last, you know, four months or so or however long it's been, that'll be a pretty decent explanation on where I've kind of been. I feel like this map will be deadly to have like a chopper gunner or a uh, gunship on. I'm stunned. I'm stunned! Ooh, I can start up spawn, dude. Ooh. I forgot how good the MTZ is in this game, man. I love this gun. Absolutely love the MTZ in this game, man. That UAV up. Ooh, wall bang. Ah, there's two of them. This is the second one. Dude, this stuff is actually fun. I'm actually vibing with it. I like it. I will say, Modern Warfare 3 has been one of those weird games where, like, some days it is just so much fun to play, and then other days it is just a nightmare to play, man. With no in-between. But I also have not played Warzone yet, so I have no clue how that's going to go either, so... I feel like this map's gonna be really good for the penetration kills for LMGs and snipers though. Just cause I feel like you can shoot through almost any wall in the entire map. So hardcore might be a way to go for camos. <laughs> bro, that drone is the best thing they ever had at this game, bro. I don't know what's going on at this point. I don't even know what's happening, man. Oh, I should have had him. This map is a ton of fun though, man. Season two's already started off better than season one, in my opinion. Just in the map selection, because we don't have, you know, two remakes like we did last, or the, yeah, the remake like we did last time. I'm sorry, I would rather have maps like this every single time than get shipment every year. Nuketown is fine, because it's only in Treyarch games, but the fact we got Nuketown three years in a row is kind of ridiculous, man. Because we got it on Vanguard, Marvel for two and this game. It's kind of kind of tired of playing shipment over and over again, man. Damn, he shot my freaking thingy. This map is nuts. I'm loving it. I like it. I don't care that I'm getting spawn killer in five seconds. I like this map. It's fun. And this isn't even like the honeymoon phase. That's just like, I'm not playing shipment. And I feel it's like, I feel it's more bright and colorful. I feel it's a little bit more fun than playing the dark version of shipment over and over again. Like, get out of the shower, bro. Also, apparently there's like a pizza box on this map. That's like a reference to Breaking Bad. 
I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've never watched Breaking Bad. Uh, just never got into it. Please don't hate me for that though. I'm sure it's a great show. Double kill. I love the Breacher drone, bro. It's my favorite thing in the world. He really got to kill me because I got stuck in a to the end bad throw. How did that not kill him though? I feel like you could get some crazy feeds with snipers on this map if you had the right bet, like the best lobby as possible, man. I don't know how I turned on him like that. He needs to retire, bro. There's some nutty grenade throws with the vents and stuff on this map. That is crazy. Yes! Yes! I got it with the freaking preacher drone, dude. I love it so much. It's so cheap, but I love it, dude, so much. It is so much fun to use. It was like the best thing they ever added to this game, bro. Never mind, I'm not dead somehow. Dead. Also, I do want to just say, guys, uh, I am going to be live on Kick after this video goes live. I don't know when, later tonight. So if you guys could go follow me over on Kick, um, link is going to be down in the description below. Same with Twitter. Um, I plan to go live later tonight streaming this game. Might stream some Warzone. I'm not sure just yet what I'll be streaming here in Call of Duty, but I will be playing some Modern Warfare 3. <laughs> I, I freaking love that drone, bro. I don't care how many times I hit me die to it because I threw it on my feet. It's just so much fun to use. I love it, dude. I don't even care that we lost either, man. This map is going to be disgusting for SMGs and stuff, dude. Like, oh my goodness, bro. What a game. 12 seconds later. Horde point. I love Horde, bro. I've been wanting this since World War II. But honestly, Black Ops 4 is when I last really wanted this game mode. I already like it. it was skull and bones collected. I don't know what that means. I feel like this mode's gonna be really good for XP. <laughs> but there's a nuke on this. That's cool. A leads on. What is this, dude? I like this. I definitely think this mode's gonna be really good for getting XP. Because you can kill both players and zombies. I feel like it's going to be a really, really good mode for either A, just grinding out levels on weapons and also, you know, plus, you know, levels and um, so we're a rank. I think it's going to be a really good mode for that. Also, this Jack BFB barrel attachment is like makes again zero recoil. It's kind of neat. My aim was terrible right there, dude. I didn't think I'd kill him. I can't hit shots, dude. I just can't seem to hit anything right now, bro. My aim is terrible, dude. Oh my goodness. Nice kill too. Oh, we won. I don't know how we won, but we won. I don't know. Four point, you're fun, but you're crazy, man. Season two. Sledgehammer. I like you. You did well.